20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. There were many technical achievements in transportation that changed the world forever. Yuri Gagarin aboard the Vostok 1 capsule conquered space. The Concorde achieved supersonic transatlantic flight. But on land at least, nothing came even close to those moments, until Volkswagen decided to give a blank check to Bugatti. The result was the Veyron, one of the fastest production road cars ever built. A marvel of engineering, praised by the world all over. Gordon Murray, chief designer of the McLaren F1, said about the Veyron during its development stages that, and I quote, the most pointless exercise on the planet has got to be this four-wheel drive thousand horsepower Bugatti, end quote. But even he ended up liking it. Top Gear has covered the Veyron extensively, putting it up against an Eurofighter, drag racing it against a McLaren F1, and even attempting top speed records, so I do recommend you check their episodes for more details about it. In summary, the car was named after Pierre Veyron, Bugatti test driver and engineer and winner of the 1939-24 hour Le Mans alongside Jean-Pierre Vimille, and if he were alive to test drive it, he would simply exclaim, Mon Dieu! Mon Dieu indeed! With a price tag starting at 1.2 million euros, you get a thousand horsepower in the standard model from the unique W16 engine, and a top speed of 407 km per hour. The car proved to be an immense success, even though it cost more to make one than the price it was selling for. Several different versions were created as a result. The one we are taking a look in game is the Super Sport version. Because everyone was asking for more speed and power, Bugatti released this one, which has 1200 horsepower and can reach 430 km per hour. Sitting in the S2 class with 913 power rating, Can Dapper Dan tamed the 1200 horsepower W16 on the drumstick. And away he goes, and isn't that just a magnificent sight, seeing this two-ton powerhouse battling down around the meaty part of the circuit. But will that extra weight affect its handling characteristics? Honestly, I do not know, because this is a live voiceover done on the lap time. Also, keep in mind that all the laps that we are recording on the drumstick are done with the traction control and stability turned off. But so far, so good. It is blazing fast through this lap. Now we are going to reach the ankle part. Here is where things should get interesting. We might see a bit of understeer or loss of traction. Going in the second corner. Now through the S-bank. Nope, it's still on track. The weight is actually helping in this case, keeping the rubber planted to the tarmac as it takes the Bugatti to barrel across the line. A spectacular performance by the Bugatti. It did the lap in 54 seconds, 188. Now let's see it break records in the yeet test. This is going to be a pretty fast run. As he now battles down on the drag strip, let's see how much it gets on the speed camera. 228.58. God, that is quick. We're already at 300 kilometers per hour. Woo, this is going to be a very nice distance. Epic slow motion. As it flies, and it flies, and it flies for 386.33 meters. To put that in perspective, that distance is greater than the height of the Empire State Building. Now, let's switch back to the leaderboards and see where the Bugatti stacks up.
With such groundbreaking speeds, the Bugatti Veyron sits comfortably at the top of the leaderboards. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, the engine has four turbochargers, because why not? Thank you for watching. Next time we will see what happens when a cyclist decides he needs a car to get his cheese.